Bobby. What are your thoughts on the Muir Comp this game? I mean, it, I think it, it worries me because I think it only adds one more thing on Lancer's plate, you know? Because, you know, they're already worried about this This really just unorthodox, this different play style that Carlton has. And not only that, you know, now they have to worry about, like, this exact same, you know, they have to worry about, you know, who's going to play this better, you know, pure gunfights. And that only furthermore goes into, you know, like, what Carlton's good at is those pure gunfights, just taking those gunfights and just winning them. Yeah. Um... They are quite practiced on this comp, but you know, like things could be true for Carlton. And um, you know, like when people when players pick Piper, usually on their on their uh, in their comp, they usually are quite comfortable in practice on this. Like yeah, you see the default lurk wall towards A, uh, creating a little bit of pressure since they won't know when um, when the when players have walked through the U-Haul. But it looks like the trips are there to counteract that, make sure they can't lurk through. We're seeing early pressure towards showers. Um, that is a very common play from Lance. Uh, We're seeing it. this pretty basic Carlton, you know, this this pretty basic hit. You know, they said, hey, we'll, we'll five mana sight. And here they are. I mean, seemingly free out a short. No lurks coming out from Lancer Gaming out of showers. Oh, now we're seeing the late lurks. Let's see, can they find this Viper? Luke does do get some good damage. Fanchico does find the Cypher there. Yeah, push towards CT. Kaz does have to be aware of this on the retake. Kaz is going to take a fight. Yeah. Ray seemed to win the fight too. And here, Carlton just has a free B. Lancer Gaming 3D4. Left, left a little bit with our pants down as they Five rotate to site after that CT push. Really good call from Lamp uh, from Carlton Gaming. Um, oh, Viper does do it. Finding, Finding one on the one CT. On Not traded back yet. Looking nice. for two. Getting traded finally by Fanchico. I am worried here. Fanchico is on 48 HP. Yeah, their chances, their chances aren't looking great. 3v2, and they only have one spot to come out of. Time is one ticking enemy. down. Yeah, and just caught in the crossfire. Not really much they can do there. Um, what went wrong with that round? We had, uh, we understood that the push was coming through U-Haul. Uh, I do believe uh, Al on the Cypher was taken down first, creating that opportunity for the push through to CT. Um, when Kaz lost that fight, then Car Carlton was like, yep, we have the open lane towards B. We have the, the control of CT, so we can't easily rotate through there. Let's just all take CP and, and take that A Cypher, or B site for free. So a really good yeah. call from Carlton. Yeah, definitely. And here we're just seeing another Carlton special with this just this five hit. I mean, they're looking for a five hit on B, and looking like they're just going to catch Kai out alone lancer gaming flanked is coming through there is a cypher trip so definitely gonna be interesting to see how carlton reacts when they see this trip is procced trip is procs kai is here alone they know site's free so it makes you wonder they they, they wouldn't surprise me to see carlton take some space here but it seems like yeah. but you immediately see the viper turning towards the flank viper finding too long to get straight to Al does get the trade that's a vandal down it looks like they want to fight, you know, finding two there, and here it's just, ironically enough, Kai is the last alive, and I mean, it's just a massacre. Yeah. Be long. I would have liked to see a little bit more damage that round. They did pick up that Vandal, uh, fighting him 5v1, but not, no other kills found, and that's really going to make it very hard for us to do in this next round, because we do have two Vandals and a Guardian on the side of Carlson. Uh, which and and what you need to understand about these third round buys is yes you have all vandals but there will be a couple vandals on the other side as well and every kill that they get with those vandals will create another opportunity for a vandal on the Carlton side so they really need to play this round perfectly to make sure that they can keep those vandals and buy next round see look Carlton looking to try to take the showers and they see they spot the Bremen I mean I mean that's all they needed to see there they're giving that up and very interesting play call from Carlton. You know, we've seen a lot of fast hits, but here they're just they're seeming to, you know, try this default. Just, you know, play it slow and see how it goes. Um, but the very, very important round, especially, you know, considering, uh, you know, Lancer Gaming's, you know, their momentum, their, their mentality here, especially coming out of the second game. I think both teams understand how important this round is. That's why you see them slowing down the tempo. No one want to make, no wants to make the first mistake. Um, and we see Carlton coming a little bit grouping up a short we do have the cypher late showers this is a very common uh, uh hit to see uh 
Guy Flash does fall. Down you go. Luke he finds does one. Find one. Falling back to safety. Stun coming in from the dog. Kaz a little what more aggressive. What a shot from Keto! Is punished Luke for that over aggression. Just find a second. Here we see a pretty strange setup for Carlton. I mean, seeming they're actually playing post plant. They're not pushing out and. Definitely see 4v3 for Lancer Gaming, you know, play together, play these trades. Brim we'll does have goes. a molly lineup, so time ticking down on the spike is a lot more important. They need to find these kills. They need to make sure that, yeah, molly does come in. They Second do get half. One. Luke does get half on a very, very good from him. And Kai needs to find this kill on the Cypher. Doesn't seem to, it's half. Looking to stick it. Kai! Just barely by milliseconds. I mean milliseconds, not getting there? the bomb to the place not working. Yeah, Call and you know, like that's a really, really hard round to see. Sorry, uh, for the people in chat, as I, I mentioned uh, at, at halftime, um, or sorry, in, in pregame lobby. Uh, yes, we understand that there is a spelling mistake in the overlay, and that's not something I can do. Um, I can change at the moment. I don't have control of that or the ability to change it. So I apologize for that. Um, <laughs> and I'm sorry, I see I see some uh, support from Nate. Yes, but we do allow the other team's viewers to watch as well. So I am going to apologize for that mistake, but it is just not something I can change. So sorry about and that. Here, another unfortunate play call from Lancer Gaming. I mean, we've seen so many rounds now where they go for the stack site, they go for the push out, and, you know, Carlton's just not there. Like, yeah. they are just not there. I don't and necessarily Rays think it's a bad call, but it is an unfortunate one. Uh, yeah, definitely. And Luke seemingly does not want to play retake, just plans on fighting for his life and lamps here. And we'll definitely see how it goes. Spots Luke. Let's see. What can he do with this sheriff and lamps? But we also have the fast flank coming out from Lancer, coming out short. The Viper is flanking from showers, though. I've got your trolley. Yeah, Molly coming in, not letting them take it back to you all. But it, I believe it is planted for back site. So they do have control. That Viper coming in from behind. Al not Viper finding that kill. Luke. Luke hits the Viper. Luke does get the kill on the Viper. Just barely. He does eventually get traded. And you know, just more trades coming out from Carlton. And another round run for Carlton. 0-4. I mean, Aiden. What do you think's going through Lancer Gaming's head right now? You know what? Uh, they lost map one. They lost the first four rounds on their map pick. So, um, you know, like I, I feel like the, the, the energy in the chat must be going down right now. And if I'm going to give you my true and honest opinion, um, this round with their, their second their second full buy round, they need to win this or I, I don't think they have a chance of winning this. Especially on fine defense. Definitely, definitely. We just saw Ray's waste a satchel outside of showers. Very interesting uh, play. I'm guessing a mistake. And Carlton looking, you know, they said, hey, we've been five stacking a site. You know, we're, we're going to slow down the tempo again. They're giving looking to push out. Good sky flash. Vanchico finds one, gets traded by Rib. Let's see. Kaz does find Ray's, and Kaz is very weak. Lancer Gaming does have the numbers. But, oh, it looks like Kai did not buy this round. Yes, but look at this. Carlton is all the way up, you know, just inside you and but they I are mean, they are aware of this space open so it looks like they're making sure that they got the info on who's here um lancer gaming ready to teleport as soon as the bomb tap goes down so um hopefully they time it out correctly we do have this push coming through ct i like this call from carlton uh pushing through to ct understanding that that's open and uh taking it they don't want to allow that TP play. They understand that mine will be very, very quick if they, if they allow that teleport there. What a spot from Lancer Gaming. You know, they said, hey, you know, we're not seeing anybody. And I also like the fact they didn't TP. You know, there was very, very heavy presence site, and they still didn't TP. But here, Wait, you know, Carlton's Luke, coming back. Luke shows his awareness as an IGL, smoking CT, understanding that that, that push is possible, and forcing them back to the A site. Here, it looks like we're gonna have a 43 Lancer Gaming is gonna have to four man try to come out of showers here, but Grim only coming to delay, Cypher Cage, Grim Smoke, I mean, it's not gonna be easy yet. You definitely wanna see some wraps here. We do have a Grim ult to work with for uh, forcing them to force them maybe out of this play for all of them. Um, it's gonna be a really hard retake. We are running out of time because the ball does come down. 
Grim finds two in heaven. Grim finds three! And Viper does just get Kai there. I do not like this at all, Aiden. No, I do not like no, this at I don't. all. I, I, was, I was saying before the round, uh, Vine defense is so important. It's a very, very defense-sided map. And that, I, I think, honestly, ruins their chance for points in this game. If you really want to like think of economy, that was their second buy round. Now they're on Eco, so almost guaranteed to lose this round. Even then, on round seven, when they do have their full buy, uh, Carlton's gaming is going to have so much economy and nothing to spend it on. So even if they do win them to the, the seventh round, Carlton will I be able like to buy. I like this stack on Laser Gaming. Old coming out, finding one, a counter. Race satcheling in, does get traded. Guns down. There are guns for Lancer Gaming. Lancer also has the numbers here, so we'll definitely see how Carlton reacts to this. And look, we do have Alv lurked up on B. I like this a lot. They said, yes. you know, we know where you guys are. Let's try to find out where you aren't, which is very proactive from, you know, Lancer Gaming, which we honestly haven't seen a whole lot of in this series so far. Yeah, and you know, like, uh, you see it again, these call to stack is late, but this time it actually ended up working out because they, they, they actually got the correct, the 50-50 correct. Like, it was quite unfortunate to get it incorrect so many times. Um, but you can see the value of getting that stack call right. We're looking to see a brawl in showers. The fake sky flash comes out, and Lancer Gaming seeming to win the gunfight. They don't know where Brim is. Kai, you cannot fight here. We got you know you gotta play these numbers. And here Kai makes the right decision, falls off. Here I think we're gonna see Brim rotate through C we do indeed see Brim rotate through, through CT. Now yeah. how long does it take Lancer Gaming to left. recognize that they've been doing this several times and that they're gonna do it again? Yeah, uh, it looks like we don't have any Cypher utility on the A site, so information is not going to be up until the bomb goes down. Uh, Brim not knowing if there is a Cypher vessel here at all his angles, um, but you know, it is a free site, so we will get bombed down eventually. Left. And we need, to, uh, we need to be able to play for this one correctly. We did see this before on Lotus um, when they got that free C site 2v1, uh, but the trades did not happen correctly, so. No, I hope uh, uh, we close this round out because this round is going to be huge. Like I was talking about earlier, this will be spin on their eco. Raid does Alf come in. Taking an interesting dive out of Hookah, but Kai getting a good trade. I like that a lot from Lancer Gaming. They finally stepped up. They finally said, hey, we know you guys keep five hitting our sites, and we're just, you know, we're just taking it. They said, hey, we'll do you one better. We'll four stack a site. Yeah. And it worked out perfectly, especially with that razor off the rip and just they're, they're, they're collect, correct, correctly spotting where, you know, Carlton uh, wanted to go that round. Yeah, and you know, this round, that round puts the glimmer of hope back in my eyes. Like, I know I said that if they, if they lost round five, um, I don't think they have a chance of winning the game, but uh, that I think that saved them. They won on their on their eco. They called the correct stack, so it does it does put the uh, the possibility of winning this game back the on the stack table. coming out again from Lancer. What a play call! Now let's see. Hopefully this viper doesn't get a lot of value. Doesn't get any. Immediately gets caught out. The raise of finding three. Oh I don't think I've ever seen that happen in a game of this caliber. A raise, wow. That, <laughs> well, That's got to raise some questions. Bobby, I mean, I why did I have to mention the glimmer of hope that comes back to <laughs> my eyes? Because it was quickly, quickly taken and away that, by that raise ult. Riv is just shutting it down. I mean, it makes you really kind of question. I mean, Lancer knew that there was nobody sight, and the raise ult was coming out. And Carlton was also going to know that they were showers, so it's like... Makes you wonder, the Skyflash came out and they still didn't speed up nearly enough in time. Now, just looking for some consolation kills here. Let's see if we can get anybody. Uh, and the ace coming out from Riv. Riv has had quite a, a, a day today. Map 1 and I Map 2. Um, and and like, yeah. like I was saying, you don't see big ultimates like that. Usually race ult is one and done or, or one and traded. But finding Three there, my God! Um, I, I maybe it's caster curse, maybe it's just a very well played day by Riv, but you know, um, the glimmer of hope is gone again. Uh, I don't think I see much of a chance for me. Yeah, I mean that hurts, round hurts is just really, it. yeah, yeah, and it, you know, honestly, that that round really just 
you always shut that down, like you were saying, and it's like, if you know, it really, you know, breaks my heart, especially for Lancer gaming fans. Like that Razor, just if it didn't find three, I like that for Lancer. But you see, Heavy Tilt coming out long. Let's see, do they look to execute on it? They do. Carthy City to find a pretty free site. Raze looks kill hungry. Let's see, does he go for the push off CT? He does not. But they are taking elbow here. Dude, is there double audio? I think there's double audio. Yeah, to refocus on that round. Um, another another good round by Carlton. Uh, like I really I really hate saying it, especially as a as a Lancer gaming uh, fan. I don't want to say that there is no chance because obviously never back down, never what. But you know, like if this is, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. They have it. The, the chance is still there, but they are gonna have to play a lot better than they have been playing so far in this match. Yeah, and there for a couple rounds, we saw some really good play calls from Lancer, and it seems like, you know, they're, they're starting to slow down again. They're starting to kind of go back to these, these you know, basic setups, but especially with Carlton. Cat does find a one there. Cypher is just pushed up, and he's just, it's such a free hookah take, and yeah, now Carlton finding another free B site. Yeah, I think we're starting to see the frustration from Kaz. Uh, he did have an amazing game last game, um, and you know, like the rest of the team, unfortunately, was not doing as hot. Can't really blame them for it. They are playing against a very good team, um, but you can kind of see the, the frustration is not doing as well. Viper alert! Let's see what can he do on this. Viper does not find any. I believe there was a whiff from Viper. I'm not entirely sure. I was watching the fight from Sai, but yeah, definitely would like to see a Lancer gaming save here. Not a whole lot of time left. They need these guns. They're saying, hey, you know what? We do have faith in our bind attack. Let's try to collect these rounds, you know, let's keep these guns. Hopefully, I should say, I guess I mean one to seven. Collect these rounds, and then we go to the attack. Hopefully, you know, a new team. Yeah, hopefully. Um, but honestly, you can see the frustration coming out from some of the players. Uh, I think it is kind of uh, hurting their industry play. So I hope, like, you know, we can get the momentum back. We can win a round or two and turn this around uh, so that this map is not lost. Like, I really hate for it to end here. Definitely, definitely. I mean, we have two very highly skilled teams. I'd love to see, a, uh, you know, a game three, but Lancer just, they, they, I mean, I think step one, you know, you need to find your mental. Because, like you said, I mean, these. The, the the mistakes that are happening, these errors, I mean, these past couple rounds, I mean, we could just tell, you know, they're they're you know, the morality's crumbling. Yeah. It's like we have uh Cypher working back Ty getting hit a lot. Let's see what can we do. Lily Tina Dream gets caught out from the brim and this is I mean another I mean pretty free sight take, but Lancer Gaming can look at this kind of get maybe a quick retake here and I guess not. Planted. Yeah. Alf was in showers. Alf does still find one. Yeah. Looks like uh, no, still a Molly on the side of. Luke seeming to swing by himself into lamps. I mean, I think that's another just one of those errors, individual mistakes, and Grim finding a second one. Yeah. Grim, I mean, that's just. I mean. It, it goes. It goes back to the frustration showing. Um, you, I, I do from from knowing these players and, and playing with them and watching them, like I can really tell when they're when they're feeling that. Um, I, I know that a lot of the time when they are down, he, these players start making mistakes based on the fact that they think it it's up to them to pick it up and make sure that the team wins the round instead of just playing their role. So you do like I, I can't fault Luke for that. Like I really I really can't. I know it's a mistake, but I know in his head he is feeling like if he does not make a play. Um and what a take from Cypher and it's just unfortunate. I mean Viper gets I believe it seemed to be like almost a lucky headshot and I mean there there it is. I mean Carlton wins the trade here. We have Riv looking to push out of the CD smoke. Let's see. What do you do with the Riv pushes out immediately does get put down here? And Al save and he's got on. Al does find the one immediately gets traded from Brem. 
But you know what? I, I actually do want to call call it back to last round. Um, Carlton made an, a, a really good choice in that other round. As soon as they heard the Viper all come down, they ran in. And they did not give that Viper enough time to set up and become comfortable in that ult. They and and uh, really, you never see that from teams. And it, <laughs> it, as you can see, it shut down the Viper so quickly. It actually turned that Viper all into a death trap for her. She was not allowed to go back into it because Carlton had full control of that space inside. And I mean, I mean, I know it is one in ten. Lancer just, at, at least needs this round. If there's anything, anything at all, they need this round. Cypher looking to take this one in Nuka, immediately gets caught out from Kaz. Carlton still moving up along pretty freely. The Razel coming up. A little, bit, a little bit of an early Razel. Those skies that... are. Aiden, I think we are definitely, definitely seeing some mental anguish come out from, you know, Lancer. I mean, yeah, there, it's just a, it's a little bit of frustration. It's a little bit of uh, uh, desperation to, be, to make that play, to win that round for your teammate. Um, but, you know, like. A little, I would like to see a little bit more patience, just waiting to see if those sky dogs and find here anyone. Here we have a Carlton. I mean, they walked all the way around here. They're fast executing on showers, but I mean, Lancer Gaming does have this. You know, they are looking for this. Uh, you know, that flank from TP. We do see Grimmel Cuddle coming out with the dog. What a play! But I mean, Viper and Ray's both finding one. We have a three v two retake for Lancer. Viper is the main. Cypher also coming out. Yeah, several gonna Gaming spot now. both of them, one but um, no. At what I point is it one. too late? They, they tap, they are waiting for that Viper to make her move, but she, I think what she is, understands that no one is on yet, because, uh... Molly coming out, Kai looking to get half, you gotta win that one, Fanchico. Fanchico does not win the one. What a Kai play does Kai. make it in he time. Get it, but... So, you know, like... Glimmer of Hope, maybe back, maybe uh, it's Don't Copium, jinx it, I mean, you know what happened last time you said that. Yeah, so Glimmer of Hope is gone, everyone, everyone, don't don't listen to me. Um, but yeah, uh, it does it does give them a chance. 11-1 um, is not doable, but I have seen 10-2s. So, um, you know, I hope that they can, they can pick it up, they can focus. I hope they're not too down by, by map 1 and how first map went. Uh, because this game could still be in their hands. They could. Yeah. Uh... And I mean, here, you know, you think it's two to ten. Maybe, just maybe, Carlton slows down and just tries to get those last three rounds. But no, they said, hey, we're playing fast and we're winning. We're gonna keep playing fast. And so here we see a four-man hookah push out, which I'm really worried for this because we only see three Lancer gaming players. Actually, only the Cipher, only Alv is towards market here. So we'll definitely see. Alv talks in. Let's see what can he do here. They don't clear Alv. They do not clear Alv, but they are, but they read the stack. They do have the pinch. Alv, Alv finding one. Alv looking for a second. Alv, Alv finding find two. two. Flash, flash comes in. Flash coming out. They just traded back, but they don't know about Kai. Here we have Kai walking up. Sky does want to fall off. Doesn't want to risk it, and Sky does spot the Viper. Sky pushing out. Looking to take the one. Yeah. I, I don't I, I, it was it, yeah I, I don't think that was uh I don't actually think that was a bad play no one expects someone to take that one there so um I don't think Kai was expecting that swing and he took a lot of damage from that fight so timing Kai this is very very worrisome the timing the cipher had was very very nice I I mean I'm very worried for Kai here I mean yeah, cipher is just on his tail he does have a lot of time so he is slowly trying to clear. Um, I think this is it's, this is good for Makai because even if he doesn't find anyone CT now, he must be aware that he could be playing sight. So this wrap from long isn't a wrap from long anymore. Cypher looking again. Yeah. Cypher just shutting down any hopes of them securing that round. And I mean, honestly, I really, I, I honest, I honestly, I, I feel, I feel for Alv there. Alv had the entire round in his hands. All he had to do was just turn, like look out a little bit. I mean, I understand why he didn't. You know, they're running it down. But can we just, like, respect what a call that was for them to run it down to market and then slow walk into peaking long? Yeah, uh, they made no noise. Lancer Gaming could not be aware of that. Um, it's not something you see that often, but, and, and really well played for them. We're going to see them buying again. I, I, I think that, that it, it is worse. Um, they don't really have any chance unless they buy here, so... Ray Satchel's coming in. Coming out. Nothing right found you saw. There is a fast point coming out though from 
Carlton. I mean, there's three on the flank. They're seemingly clueless. I'll just get the trade, but he immediately gets traded, and we still have the we still have Riv and. Oh, they are caught here. We're going to need. Yes, we, need, we saw something from Kai. looking to go in. Kaz does find the raise. Let's see. Free Young Thug does get Kai here. We have 2v2. Cypher getting the great damage. Cypher getting two there. Shutting down any hopes on yeah. that round. I mean, they were it's they were pinched. They were pinched very heavy. There was no way for them to get out. And, you know, we needed. Like, it's too almost too much to ask from him, but we need to see why one more from Kai. Uh, I don't blame him for that, but it, it was the only thing that could have won them that round, in my opinion. Um, the, just the fight out of U-Haul when you're pinched like that is a little bit too hard, especially with these low-range guns. It was a Stinger and a Bucky, so uh, the round was Kai's to win. It was not in his favor, I'll be very clear about that, but... Um, it was, I think, it was the only thing I could have won on that round. So fast taken showers, unfortunately. Grim Stun doesn't eventually get traded. Kai does find two there, and Lancer will find themselves a free site. But we do have this very, very early flank. I mean, does Roomba clear Kai? Roomba does not clear Kai. Dog doesn't clear Kai. Oh, Dog doesn't. Yeah, but the crossfire a little bit too much for Rim there. We have Keto Flash coming through, 21 HP. I mean, you also see Luke is very, very weak to Sky Hill coming out. Does he swing on to him? No, he does not. See that? Like, you see Double Swing come out, and there it is. I mean, nice job. Well, I hate pressure. to say it, I mean, this feels like a consolation round, Aiden. Like, don't get me wrong, it was uh... a great round from Lancer, but I mean... Definitely some, definitely some big mistakes there from Carlton that I just feel like were just only made because you know it is three to twelve. I don't know. I, I think anytime I say something about chances in the round, uh, Lancer Gaming ends up losing. So uh, I think I'm gonna keep my mouth shut for the next couple rounds. But um... couple. <laughs> Hopefully there's a couple. Don't Hopefully. Uh, I mean, yeah. don't get me wrong. I'd love to see a comeback from Lancer Gaming, but I mean. I just, I, I feel like you know we gave them chance yeah. time and time and again, and they just, they just, they didn't show up. Yeah, I think but, they I mean, are they are a bit wary of this market push again, uh, because they, they did see it in the earlier rounds. Uh, it doesn't look like they go for it again. It looks like they're going for more of a stack. I does find one on the lurk. Makes you think maybe Lancer Gaming goes for the TP here. They know, and Luke does find that the, the sky just peeking out. Yeah, this hookah is a death trap. for Lifer does find the kill. Good sky job on flash. Him. I mean, Kaz does get the trade on Raze. I mean, Viper is just. Seemingly nowhere near to be, you know, the site that was just executed on. Oh. Still very, very on A. And they know he's got Al. Did Al take the one? See a one coming out from Al. He won it just because he won the one doesn't mean it was a good one. I mean, yeah, it was, uh, you know, <laughs> when you're down this many rounds, you can't afford to make any mistakes and uh, have, put a, giving a gun down for them. Might not win them the round, but it would create opportunities to do a lot more damage than they already did. So, um, you know, good on him to win the fight, but uh, a little bit riskier. And I think that's coming from uh, the, you know, the mental damage that that happens when you lose this many rounds, on especially with a momentum-based team like this. 100% Lancer looking to try to take this long again. They are going to run into three here. Seekers do help. Skydog coming in. Ray's looking to dry swing and immediately gets cut out for it. Skydog there too. Yeah, you do see, you see a Brim rotating? I'd like to see a TP here from Lancer and lo and behold yeah. there is the TP. Yeah, left alone on site uh, as Cypher, you know? Like this is, the, this is what you want. This is your moment, but... Shut, definitely, definitely shut down. Right. They are aware of the brim heaven. They this. I mean, Viper comes out completely understandable. You, I mean, obviously you have to secure the round. I mean, if you don't, the series is over. Here we see a very, very uh, slow kind of just taking the space that they can from uh, Carlton. We'll definitely see. The Lancer Gaming react to this. Yeah, but we're playing very safe, mollying off, just delaying for time. Shorty coming out from Luke, a little bit of an overpeak. You don't win those angles with the Shorty. Uh, but, you know, I, I think this is Lancer Gaming's round. I'm gonna stop talking because I can't. <laughs> Finds another. Viper apparently wants to try to win the round with, like, 
seemingly only maybe like 15 seconds left on the bomb and I, I mean I have to respect that he got the one he saw the clip and I mean Carlton just looking to get those guns down try to you know shut Lancer Gaming down for the next coming rounds as much as they can yeah but it looks like uh, Lancer Gaming's economy is actually quite good after winning the, so many rounds in a row I think that was four for them right uh, and on the other side we're not seeing so much economy we do have judges so you know like they, that has potential to create a lot of damage if Lancer Gaming is not careful so um you know let's see how we play around that we understand that they're eco so i, I would like a, a call from luke here to just, just be extra careful and slow clearing these angles or or clearing them with sky you still care looks like we're going for a fast rush instead fast rush. hey you see the cypher cam kai I was ours. I apologize. I mean, look, I mean, it's a seemingly a free sight for Lancer. I mean, you have the two back sight. Benchico catches the brim, just peeking with the sheriff. And do they, they did not clear lamps. He has a judge. Yeah, Fight puzzle. breaking out showers. So let's see. Kaz, don't go for the solo peek. That looks like they're aware of the, the, all the TPs, but I, I really hope we stay away from the ball right now. That Cypher could do a lot of damage with that judge. I like that from Lancer, giving up the space, especially with the flank from Al finding two. Does he get the third? Unfortunately, getting traded. Cypher getting caught out walking with his judge. I mean, the young dog looking to do something. Kai, you know, very good round from Lancer. I mean, we saw a good play call, good utility usage, and I liked how they backed up showers when they said, hey, there's three here. Dude, there's plenty of space for us to, you know, set up, chill out on site, and wait, and that's exactly what they did. Yeah. Uh, really, really good round for them. They, they they made sure to keep their guns, keep their economy, and uh, just slowly choke out uh, Carlton. So um, I'm glad that they didn't over peek into the U Hall, understanding that, that after the Braymalt comes back, they, the Cypher had an opportunity to flood back in, especially with some Eagle gun, good chances of the judge happening. So I wonder what I'm seeing over here. You don't usually see uh, a sky on the uh, defaulting towards the opposite side of the stack. So I wonder what the play call is here from Luke. Um, maybe try and get some information on showers to make sure that the Viper is not wrapped. But... Lancer playing incredibly slow, trying to bait out this utility usage. I mean, and it worked. I mean, they're already pulling the rotate off A. Let's see, right does Kaz or Kai try to take this space A? Oh no, I, supposedly, I guess I was wrong. I mean, double trip set up. The three long cypher is stuck here. Does he manage to cross? He does barely get he does barely get across. Lancer is seemingly to run into a stack here though. I really would have liked to see them like cut noise there or something. I, I think they, they rotated way too early. They, they did not create the opportunity. With coming out from Riv, Kido does get the trade. Razel coming out from Manchico as well. We have 3v2 for Lancer Gaming. Cypher is also 1 HP. Yeah, but you know, uh, Cypher does not have a gun yet, looking for one now, so it's possible, it's possible for a lot of damage to come out on the side of uh, Carlton, but... No, looking to wrap again, uh, Alv looking just caught asleep, Fainchiko does find the one, Cypher ult is coming out, does delay the stick, let's see, nice what job. a sh shot from Benchico. Benchico. Yeah, like you can see the confidence, confidence getting up, uh, walking into that Viper all despite being lower HP. Uh, Decay coming in, bringing him down to 1 HP. Bill wins the fight with the headshot. Um, honestly, I can I hear think... you smiling, Aiden. Yeah, I can yeah. hear you smiling. I mean, I mean, maybe, maybe, you know, don't, I'm not saying too much about it yet. You know, there's uh, still a lot of rounds to win. Um, but you know, uh, I would have liked to see a little bit more patience on the side, patience on the side of uh, Lance Gaming, trying to pull those rotates over towards B. I think they left a little too early, um, but they played their take well. They traded each other out, so it did result in a round win. Uh, but you know, I would have liked to see a little bit more there. Definitely, definitely. And Lancer looking for another very, very slow take. Kai might run into two here. Let's see what can Kai do here. Razel coming out, Kaz does get the shutdown with it, but Tina does find the, the, the trade on it. Let's see, Lancer looking to here towards B here with those sky rotates coming out. Lancer's running into just a solo cypher. They gotta go fast though before, you know, 
Carlton starts asking questions. Hey, yeah. they're not here. But these trips are dangerous. He does have the uh, control of elbow. Uh, the spam is gonna come in once it is smoked out. So you know, I'm really, I'm really scared to. Here, those trips, him. Luke. Uh, yeah, make sure you get them. Just the... see Brimble coming out. Let's coming see in. Luke. Oh, barely, Luke not stepping on that trip. I mean. Let's see, Cypher is still an elbow, and we see a, a Viper GP as well. I found by Yo. the sky, um, what's it, 2v4? Tito finds 2, we see a 1v3 for Alvin. Look what you did, like Aiden, look what game. you did. I told you, don't make me say anything about it, man. You mentioned my smile, and uh, that's game. You know, uh, uh, I even That's heartbreaking. I, I mean, even see in chat. We got this trust. Oh, it hurts. That, that, it that hurts. is heartbreaking from Lancer. I mean, I, I honestly, I think that last round, I think Lancer got so, you know, so much tunnel vision on the fact that, I mean, hey, we've won several rounds in a row. We finally found something.